So the accounting issue we are discussing today is where the company has given a guarantee in respect of a loan that has been taken out by the sister of a director. And the loan that the director's sister has taken out is a million. And we're told there's a 1% chance that the uh, sister of the director is going to default. And obviously in the event of default, the company would then have to honour the guarantee. Now there are three, well, three and a half. There are three major accounting standards that we need to address in answering this particular question. And so from an SBR perspective, this may be worth six marks and there could be two marks for each accounting standard that we address. Now, the first accounting issue is related party. Is the director's sister a related party? And if so, is the giving of a guarantee a related party transaction that should be disclosed? Well, yes, the director's sister is a related party because the director is a member of the key management and under the definition in the standard, the immediate family, members of the close family are also deemed to be related parties. So the sister of the director is definitely a related party. Now, some might think or some might argue that giving a guarantee because it's a non-cash transaction uh, doesn't merit being disclosed, but they're wrong. It is a transaction. Users want to know about it to give a complete picture of understanding and therefore disclosure is required. It is a transaction with a related party. Two marks, that's the first thing that I think about in this scenario, related parties. The second thing that I think about is provisions. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to recognize it as a liability, as a provision, because although there is a present legal obligation, you've signed the guarantee, and although it can be reliably measured, what ISA 37 adopts is an all or nothing approach. In other words, either you have a liability or you don't under ISA 37, because it has a probability threshold that you have to cross to enable recognition to take place. And in this particular case, there's only a 1% chance we're going to have to pay the money out. And therefore, on that basis, it's not probable. And therefore, under ISA 37, no liability whatsoever. You could even argue that it's so remote that it's not worthy of disclosure. But I think because it relates to a director and you're disclosing it as a related party anyway, that's a little bit of a false alleyway to go down. Two marks. It's not a liability under ISA 37 as a provision because it's, it's not probable. Now the third accounting standard, and I've still got that half to deal with, that third accounting standard is our old friend or our old enemy, financial instruments. Having signed that guarantee, it's creating a financial instrument. It's creating a liability, an obligation that we have. It's for their benefit, but to our potential loss, our liability. And the recognition criteria and the initial measurement criteria of IFRS 9, financial instruments, is totally different, totally inconsistent with ISA 37. What IFRS 9 says is initial recognition is at fair value. Initial recognition is at fair value. And there is a way of ascertaining the fair value, the amount you would have to pay for somebody to take away this obligation. There is a way of recognizing it because you're being given the figures to calculate an expected value. The guarantee is a million, but there's only a 1% chance 10% will be 100,000, 1% is 10,000. So we've got a reliable measure, fair value of that liability, level three at 10,000.
that is higher than ISA 37. So that's what we are recognizing, a 10,000 liability. Debit the P&L, credit the liability. And that liability can be de-recognized as and when the, the loan is repaid, as, as and when the obligation uh, disappears. So, wow, I mean, that's very technical, isn't it? Yeah, but in order to get the marks, you're, you're, you're having to stretch across three different accounting standards. It shows that in SBR, we're not always dealing in silos. We're studying and applying our accounting standards in, in across different accounting standards in the same situation. Now, what's the half? The half, if this were to come up in question two, is ethics. What is the company doing guaranteeing a loan taken out by the director's sister? That does not, to me, seem a proper, ordinary transaction in the best interest of the company. It seems in the best interest of the director's family, and that seems to be an abuse of their stewardship of the company's resources. That would appear to me to be unethical behavior. There's a lack of objectivity and independence going on. So if you were asked to comment on the ethical aspects, come down very hard on the director for giving a guarantee to his sister's loan. I mean, it's just, it's just naughty. It's just unethical. I hope you've enjoyed this answer. It shows that, you know, at SBR, it is a technical paper that you've got to be prepared to think and not just rush in and think there's only one answer, but you've got to try and develop your answer. All right. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you found that useful. Pretty little dog.